It's a very exciting time for stem cells. They're being used to rejuvenate the heart, even after a heart attack, or the brain if someone is mentally foggy. They're used to save a joint, like a knee joint, from surgery. They're used for anti-aging, to rejuvenate tissue, and they have the potential to even reverse aging. This exciting work with stem cells is not happening in the United States. It's not approved here. And it is offshore where Dr. Chadwick Prodromos has his clinic, the Prodromos Stem Cell Institute in Antigua and Monterrey, Mexico. Prodromos is a world-renowned expert in ACL reconstruction. He's practiced for decades in the Chicago area. His undergrad is from Princeton. He's Harvard and Johns Hopkins trained as an orthopedic surgeon. Stem cell technology has been out there for a little while, and it is commonly spoken about as something with a lot of promise for tomorrow and that there may be risks. And the reality, the brief reality, and I'll elaborate, is that properly done, stem cells are completely safe, and they're here today, and they can do a lot. And I need to say right at the outset that 20 some years ago, there were ethical concerns because people were using embryonic stem cells and these could come from aborted fetuses and such. So that technology is nothing that we do and almost nobody does it anymore. We are using stem cells, they're called adult stem cells. They're either from the patient themselves or they're from the umbilical cord or the placenta of ladies who donate after term cesarean sections. So these are not embry um, embryonic or fetal. Um, so these are adult stem cells. There are no ethical concerns. They're the safest treatment pretty much there is. In a nutshell, we look for areas where there's evidence of efficacy and where there's safety and we treat. Um, and right now we go offshore to do it, which is where many of the best known centers are um, because we want to bring the most effective treatment and then hopefully that treatment will be able to be done in the US, but I kind of made a conscious decision that um, it was going kind of slowly. And um, I, I just didn't want to deny people the opportunity to get treated with the state of the art technology. I really like to follow rules. So we, everything that we do in the US is strictly um, in accordance with the FDA. And the reason we go uh, and, and even where we are offshore, we have licensure. So we're in Antigua and we're in Monterey and we have, we have formal licensure to do stem cell treatment there. So we, we want to follow regulations and we do. You know, I'd actually never been to Mexico until I started treating there and I didn't know, knew nothing about it, but it's beautiful. It's very upscale. It's listed as the most upscale community in, you know, in Mexico and Latin America. So we're not going down there for that reason, but it's kind of nice if we're going to go someplace to go to a, a, a place that's very enjoyable to be in. So Tony Robbins, the famous philanthropist, motivational speaker, business person, um, he and Peter Diamandis and some other people started a company called Fountain Life. And they're, they treat upscale people for preventing disease and aging and whatnot. And so they felt that um, injecting stem cells was an important part of an anti-aging regimen. So he and his entourage came and visited us in Antigua and uh, spent a day with us and went to other places and actually put me into his book, uh, Life Force. It's a great book that he wrote. It opens a lot of eyes as to um, advances in medicine. What we do and what others do in that regard is we in, inject these cells. They're called mesenchymal stem cells um, and we inject them intravenously. And so I have a, a 501c3 nonprofit foundation. So we treat people, but I've been in academic medicine my whole life. And, and I, if we're going to do this kind of work, we'd like to follow up all our results, collect data. And so we do that. And what we have found is that we'll, you know, people, when they get to be 50, 60, 70, 80, um, will we'll notice maybe short-term memory loss, brain fog, they'll call it, you know, things like that, fatigue. Um, and so we inject people and we have found um, that in most people who have those issues, they diminish substantially. It's not everybody, but most people. We've also looked at people who we've treated who didn't have those issues before. 
And about 15% of them said, yeah, I didn't have fatigue issues or other things, but I feel better anyway. So it can definitely help. So the stem cells are isolated and then they're expanded in culture. And then um, later people will go down a month later and we take lymphocytes from apheresis. So there's a catheter in your arm, it takes out lymphocytes. The lymphocytes are activated with neural antigens and they're injected back. They go to these areas of dead tissue in your brain. They kind of whittle away scar tissue there. Um, they, they're reverting the healing phase back to the acute healing phase. Um, and this makes it amenable to, for stem cells to treat, which it otherwise they couldn't. And then we take the stem cells and co-culture them with these lymphocytes, which activates them and inject them. So the, the basic thing is you get apheresis, you get lymphocytes removed, they're treated, they're injected back. This is all intravenous, by the way, nothing in your spine, nothing in your brain. We use stem cells and a remarkable treatment. Uh, this doctor has treated better than 80 people with quadriplegia, paraplegia, amazing results, mind boggling results. And we're treating people with paraplegia, quadriplegia down there. Now we have people down there as we speak. So we've talked about the brain and how the mm -hmm. lymphocytes can go and actually help regenerate the brain, yeah. some parts and, of the and brain. And can do the same thing with the heart. And there is evidence that we've seen where scarring in the heart diminishes, goes away and, and you can regenerate new myocardial cells. Dr. Prodromos went on to say that he and his team are seeing 100% success in reversing multiple sclerosis with stem cells. He's seen success in treating a certain subset of Parkinson's patients, also those with cerebral palsy, and he just started actually regrowing cartilage in joints. It's all pretty jaw-dropping. But as with any medical treatment, there are risks. There could be infection, allergic reactions, and other adverse events. It's important to carefully consider the potential benefits before undergoing these treatments. Select the right provider and discuss it with your healthcare practitioner to determine if it's the right choice for you. Also, you'll need to know how much stem cell procedures like what Dr. Prodromos is talking about will set you back. He quoted $18,000. Pricey. But for some with the goal of maximizing the technology available to slow aging, this is certainly a cutting edge proactive step towards supporting one's health and well-being, potentially leading to a longer and healthier life. Thanks for your time. May we live longer, better.